Hello booktube, my name is Kate and this is my channel Chapter Kate. Today I'm going to be doing the mid-year check-in book tag. Yep. I was tagged by the lovely Sam over at Sarcasm and Sci-Fi and I am so excited to do this tag. The original tag was made by Jane Reads and Harriet Rosie so I am excited. I'll link all those people in the description because they're awesome and yep. I was also a little bit nervous to do this because I actually haven't read that many books this year. I didn't start really reading until April because I was writing a lot more at the beginning of the year and I don't read a lot when I write. I kind of, the way my mania works is I sort of zone in on one creative thing at a time and I'll like leave other obsessions behind. So when I'm writing, I don't read. When I'm drawing, I don't write. When I do this, blah, 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 blah. Keep that in mind. I didn't start reading until April this year. The first question is, how many books have you read this year? I just need to check my Goodreads real quick, but I dropped my computer, so thanks. That's what I get for setting it on a stack of books. Okay, so, so far I have read 22 books this year, and that's not terrible. My, my reading goal is actually 50 for the year. Last year it was 100. I've read 50 by the end of June, and I was going to keep reading, but my partner at work ended up getting moved to a different unit. And so I was alone doing a lot of extra work and I was just so exhausted that honestly it's been a blur since then. And so I really wasn't doing anything enjoyable for a while there. What is your favorite book so far this year? And I would have to say Nod by Adrian Barnes. I did a review on it and I'll link that in the comments. It's an amazing science fiction book about everybody in the world forgetting how to sleep. Well, I guess they don't really forget, they just lose the ability entirely, except for like a select few people and they all have this same dream every night and it gets harder and harder to wake up from. What is your most disappointing read so far this year? I would have to say Anne Bonnie by Stephen Utley. <sighs> I was just so sad because I, I love Anne Bonnie and I love the story of Anne Bonnie and I was so excited to read this, but it was more like just a Wikipedia article put into like novel form. There's like two chapters of Woods Rogers and it's literally just a Wikipedia novel. It's just, I, just, I was so sad. And it's so flat, the language is boring, the characters don't have any character. Ooh, honestly, I should probably move that one to my, my biography section because it's that much just a biography. What genre have you read the most this year? Weirdly enough, I think I've read more science fiction than anything. Usually I'm more into fantasy, but I'm, I'm, I'm kind of into both, but I've read more science fiction than anything this year, I believe. Name a new favorite author that you discovered this year. I would have to say Victoria Schwab or V.E. Schwab. I read A Darker Shade of Magic last year, but I didn't really realize how amazing of an author she was until this year. I think I was reading through books so quickly last year that I didn't really stop to appreciate them as much. And then when I read A Gathering of Shadows, I was like, dang, this lady knows what's up. What's a surprisingly good book that you've read this year? I would have to say Velocity by Dean Koontz. I heard a lot about Dean Koontz and I've seen him a lot, you know, everywhere. And I was kind of expecting it to be sort of dry because it's the kind of books that you would like actually see in like airports and grocery stores more than like bookstores, I guess. I don't know, and I, I kind of just picked it up in our library at work and I started reading. And like the first page, it talks about Henry had been killed by a garden gnome and that, that pretty much won it for me. The book was amazingly thought out. I just found it really interesting. So that one was definitely a surprise for me. What are your favorite and most anticipated 2018 releases? Um, I'm really bad about keeping up with which books are coming out. That said, I was really, really looking forward to Only Human by Sylva Neuville. Um, it's the third in the Themes Files series, and I loved the first two, so I was really excited about this one. I'm having a harder time getting through it just because my brain is all over the place right now, but it is really well written, and I really am enjoying it. When I get through it, I'm sure I will be thrilled with it. I'm not quite as addicted to it as the first two, but it is pretty awesome. What is your next big priority for your reading? I would have to say I would like to finish a Stephen King book because I've read pieces of Stephen King books and I really love the language and the, his writing style, but I would like to actually finish one. <laughs> and then I would also say I would really like to read American Gods by Neil Gaiman because I love Neil Gaiman. I'm just intimidated by the size because time is just, uh, I feel like I wouldn't, I don't have the patience for things. What has been... What has been your bookish highlight of the year? My comics are all falling down. What has been your bookish highlight of the year so far? I actually have a couple of these. One would be making a booktube 
Two would be tweeting Robert Beatty and him tweeting me back. He actually followed me first on Twitter. That was weird and so exciting because he's local. Um, Jessica Leak uh, also, she wrote Beyond a Dark, Dark and Shore. She tweeted me too. And Eric Lindstrom, that wrote A Tragic Kind of Wonderful, watched my video. So those things were cool. Getting into that community is kind of a really big thing for me and I'm really excited about it. Tragic Kind of Wonderful is also just a highlight in general, the fact that I read that. And also... Getting back into graphic novels is exciting. And then I have, who do you tag? I'm going to tag Picking Out on Books. I haven't seen your videos in a while and you like to be tagged and you wanted me to tag you in the makeup one and I was going to and then I didn't. Very sorry. I was going to say that in Norwegian, but I, I forgot how. Um, and I'm going to tag Adams Elise because her videos are hilarious and I love them. And I'm going to tag Amy Yuki Vickers and also Min Kobayashi. I don't know how many of you have done this tag? I may have missed it, but I'm going to tag all y'all because y'all are awesome. If you like more of this junk, subscribe below. Bye!